Hey guys, this is Devin Stone, aka BitQ, here with a quick overview of Euclid. Euclid is a one-on-one -on -one versus game, inspired by fighting games, but designed to be easy to pick up and play. Players choose from four characters, each with completely unique playstyles, and attempt to hit the opponent and avoid being hit themselves. One hit kills. The game is controlled via an Xbox 360 gamepad, with an emphasis on using both analog sticks. Characters collect shards and use their regular attacks in order to gain meter for special abilities. Alright, let's take a look at each of the four characters. Tether is the best character to start with when learning the game's mechanics. Tether attacks with a gravitational ball that can be thrown with the right analog stick. The ball will bounce off of walls, other balls, and can be affected by the enemy's abilities. To quickly recover the ball, Tether can execute a pull by flicking the analog stick in the opposite direction. Like all characters, Tether gains meter by collecting the green shards that spawn in the center of the arena. Once the player has accumulated 50% meter, they can press the right bumper to teleport to the ball. Turtle is a character designed for players who dislike using both analog sticks when fighting. Besides killing the opponent, the reflector can be used to defend yourself from enemy attacks, such as Tether's ball. With 50% meter, Turtle can press the X button to use a more powerful EX reflector. The EX Reflector has additional speed and range, as well as certain special properties. Experiment to find out what these properties are. The Super Reflector costs 100% meter and is used with the right bumper. It has even more range and speed than the EX Reflector. Demon is often thought of as the game's wildcard character. Players control two independent characters, the attacking demon and the defending vessel. The vessel represents the player themselves. Use the left stick to move it. The speed is slightly higher than other characters. If the vessel is hit by an attack, you lose the round. The demon is controlled with the right stick and moves slower than other characters. Hit the opponent with the demon to win the round. With 50% meter, the player can swap the positions of the demon and vessel with the left bumper. Use this to escape pressure and surprise your opponent. With 100% meter, players can channel the demon this freezes the vessel in place, but makes the demon move much faster. Gemini is the most difficult character to use. Like Demon, Gemini players control two characters, called nodes, each with one of the analog sticks. Both nodes must be killed before the round is lost, and the nodes respawn after a short time. Gemini attacks with a ball that can be passed back and forth. With 50% meter, press the X button to perform a zap attack between the two nodes.